The newly appointed U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry is in Rome as part of an 11-day trip through Europe and the Middle East. His visit to Rome is the most anticipated part of his tour as he'll meet with Syrian opposition members on Thursday. He's hoping talks can make some headway in stopping the violence. CCTV's Roy Ruttenberg has more from Rome. For months, American allies Turkey, Qatar, and Saudi Arabia, which have been funding, aiding, and at times arming Syrian rebels, have urged Washington to do more. For the most part, the U.S. has provided only logistical support to the rebels, support some say isn't enough. But as he left Paris, the recently appointed U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry suggested that might change. That's why we are examining and developing ways to accelerate the political transition that the Syrian people seek and deserve. Kerry stopped short of confirming any change in policy and stating clearly what, if anything, such a change would involve. Also high on the agenda, Mali and French deployment to the conflict. French Foreign Minister Laurent Fabias defending his country's involvement. We had to intervene because otherwise uh, Mali, who'd have been all of it a terrorist state, with terrible menaces on all the region. France, it's thought, wants more U.S. help with that mission, particularly American aerial fueling for French planes. Kerry then arrived here in Rome, first meeting with his Italian counterpart and then with NATO ministers. Italy marks the end of the Western European part of his vis visit, and it seems Kerry is here to ensure whatever America intends to do, both sides of the Atlantic are on board. That means getting Europe to cooperate on issues like Iran and the DPRK and Afghanistan, where a decade-plus-long NATO-led mission is due to expire next year. Kerry is also due to meet with leaders from the Syrian Opposition Council, the official umbrella representing many of the rebels. The group had originally boycotted the meeting, citing what it called American uneven-handedness after a leading rebel faction was blacklisted in the U.S. The move forced State Department officials to scramble, and the meeting is back on. It's unclear what, if anything, the Syrians were promised in return. Roe Ruttenberg, CCTV, in Rome.